Now I'd like to mention two popular myths about goal setting and pursuit. The first one is that if we set a post-it, you know, a little post-it sticky where you write down what you're trying to achieve and you put that on the refrigerator, or you put that on your mirror, that it increases the probability that you are going to stick to your goal. Turns out that is not the case. And the reason for that is that your visual system adapts to whatever is regular in your environment. Doesn't matter whether or not that environment is sparse, so it only has a few things in it, or whether or not it is dense, like a forest. Anything that shows up regularly in our visual environment gets canceled out. There's actually a basic feature of the way your visual system is wired. So for those of you that are taking a sticky note or a magnet or a sign and putting it on your mirror and leaving it there from day to day, maybe that says, you know, run 60 minutes today or study French 20 minutes or whatever the goal happens to be. If you leave it there day to day to day, it actually diminishes the likelihood of progress. I know that seems kind of hard to believe, but it's true. Instead, a better approach is to continually write that thing out each day and put up a new sticky, put it in a new place, perhaps on the refrigerator, sometimes in the kitchen, maybe on the windshield of your car, although of course remove that while you're driving, etc. If you are going to incorporate visual reminders in your goal setting and goal pursuit process, you want to change those each and every day. This is actually something that uh, perhaps app developers will start to incorporate because I think the notifications that come through on various apps designed to remind us to do certain things can be helpful, but there too, we tend to attenuate to them and we simply either do not notice them or we start to swipe them away over time. So visual reminders can be very effective. If you want to use them, great. You certainly don't have to. But if you're going to use them, you want to update them every single day. Otherwise, your visual system and certainly the areas of your brain that are associated with assessing novelty and emotionality will simply start to cancel those away. So the first common myth that we're dispelling is what I call the post-it fallacy. The idea that if you write something down on a post-it and you post it in an area that you frequent every morning or every day or every night, that you stand a higher probability of adhering to what is on that post-it. That is simply not true. You would want to replace it every day and you would also be wise to move that post-it to different locations. The second myth is that if you want to increase your motivation toward pursuing a goal and you want to increase the probability that you will achieve that goal, that you should engage in so-called accountability, meaning that you should tell people you are going to achieve that goal. Now, I realize that there are some prominent examples in pop culture of people posting something on social media and saying, you know, in three years, I'm going to be, you know, playing in Wembley Stadium or in two years, watch, I'm going to be at the top level of my game, whatever that game happens to be. Sure, there are examples of that. And those are beautiful and inspiring examples. However, the scientific data tell us that if we inform people around us that, for instance, we are going to write a book or that we're going to start a podcast or that we are going to run a marathon or whatever it happens to be, more often than not, we get feedback that is generally positive in form. I think that's good and to be expected, frankly. You know, if a friend tells us, hey, I'm going to write a book or I'm going to pursue a new fitness goal or I'm going to learn a language, we say, great, go for it. You can totally do it. You're very likely to succeed go for it. How do you want me to support you? Is there anything I can do to support you? Those all are frankly healthy exchanges. And yet the data tell us that the positive feedback that we get from others when we announce that we're going after a goal, activate certain reward systems and motivation systems within our brain that then quickly dissipate and then diminish the probability that we'll engage in the type of behaviors that actually lead us to achieve that goal. So we have the post-it fallacy and we have the myth of accountability fallacy within the context of goal pursuit. I, of course, am not saying that accountability is bad. To the contrary, accountability is a great thing, both to ourselves and to others. It's something that we should all cultivate throughout life. I'm merely talking about the myth of accountability in the context of goal pursuit. And I'm actually being more specific than that. I'm saying, don't tell people that you're going to go out and achieve something prior to initiating action toward that goal because in fact the positive feedback that we get will diminish the probability that we will continually pursue that goal in a way that allows us to achieve it 
So you could interpret the information I just gave you as meaning that perhaps it's better to tell someone who doubts us that we are going to achieve a goal. And then, of course, they're not going to give us the positive feedback. We're not going to get all that reward circuitry activated. Rather, we're going to get the uh, friction circuitry activated of us wanting to prove ourselves and overcome the Uh, let's just say the lack of faith in our ability to achieve a goal. And indeed that can work. There is evidence that can work, but then of course you have to find someone who doesn't believe in you. You have to get them to tell you they don't believe in you. And that could have all sorts of deleterious psychological effects that might undermine the goal pursuit process and other things as well. So if you are lucky enough to know somebody who doubts you, go ahead, tell them that you want to pursue your specific priority goal. But More likely than not, the best thing to do is to simply keep that goal to yourself. You may need to inform a family member or others of, you know, where you will be between the hours of, say, 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. if you're going to be exercising or learning language or meditating, whatever it is during that period of time. But what I'm referring to here is what I will call the don't tell the world rule. Don't tell the world that you're going to achieve X, Y, or Z. Just simply tell yourself. In fact, I would suggest that the more time you can spend with that one or two or three sheets of paper where you defined the goal, the specific actions that you're going to take, how you're going to measure progress, which we'll talk about a bit more later. The more time that you can spend with that goal in your mind and on that paper, the higher the probability that you will achieve that goal. That stands in stark contrast to telling everyone around you that you're going to achieve a certain goal, the so-called accountability myth or the myth of accountability within the context of goal pursuit would be the more specific way uh, to describe that myth. Now, It turns out there is some utility to having one person that is a so-called accountability buddy. If that person is really just strictly addressing accountability, they are reminding you to do what you need to do, or they are asking you, did you do what you said you were going to do? But that's a bit more of a tough love accountability model. What the don't tell the world rule is really about is not getting the kind of dopamine and other forms of neurochemical reward that come from just simply saying that you're going to pursue a goal because as you'll soon learn that dopamine and other molecules too of course are going to be critically important not just for initiating the sorts of actions required to achieve your goals but for re-engaging and constantly updating your strategy to ensure that you reach your goals